Guys, I just watched the sadness. I'm leaving the cinema right now as I'm speaking. Damn, that was a tough one. I can tell you. Uh, the movie just ended. Um, mixed reactions. Mixed reactions. I wasn't disappointed, but it was a tough one. Jesus Christ. Where's the exit? Over here. Uh, well, I have to sit down and contain myself. <laughs> oh my God. Um, this was really tough. This was really tough. Actually, three scenes were really disgusting. Um, I didn't expect these to happen. Um, wow, um, I'm still really impressed um, by what I just saw. Wow, this was this was sick. Um, well, where to start? Um, actually, the first 15 up to 20 minutes are the introduction of the couple um, and um, what they do for a living kind of stuff. And um, he uh, brings her to work or to the station where she's heading to work. And after that, um, beginning in their apartment, when he arrives back home from the station, uh, hell breaks loose. And at the very same time in the station as well. Um, when you watch the trailer, you've seen uh, not too much, but um, some scenes, or at least from the Red Band trailer, um, that you're familiar with already, um, in, in, namely in the, in the subway. And um, it basically takes place um, most of the time in a hospital. This is what I can give away. So um, don't be afraid to, to watch the, or to listen to me because I won't um, give away any more detail about the plot. Um, it's, it's violent, it's gory. It's brutal, um, it's, it's a lot of blood, a lot of guts, and uh, like I said, three scenes that are really uh, hard to take, really unbearable, and um, I didn't expect this to happen. Some scenes, the worst ones, um, take place off camera, so you won't um, be confronted with the most disgusting scenes, but uh, it's enough. It's really enough what you see in this movie. Wow. Um, yeah, that's what I can give away. You, you might hear this from my voice. I really have to collect myself. This was a tough one. This really was a tough one. And I think um, there was no movie before who is this graphic. Um, it, not the Green Inferno by Eli Roth, not Hostel, not, I don't know, Eden Lake, Dawn of the Dead uh, by Zack Snyder, none of them. This is really, uh, this is really a bad motherfucker. And um, I don't know about um, the voices in your country. Um, pervasive language throughout these guys who turn into that kind of zombies. Um, they rape. This is what they are up to. They rape and they enjoy rape. Um, this is really, it's really disgusting. <laughs> and. Uh, what they talk about is disgusting. What they do is disgusting. The whole movie, um, to sum it up, is like one fucked up anarchy uh, right from the start. Um, I don't know if people left uh, during the presentation. I couldn't see that. Um, but um, I think it was... Actually, there were three girls in the audience. I was surprised that they stayed because it was so anti-woman sometimes. Or let, let me say throughout when they talked about rape, when they performed rape. Um, but this one scene in the hospital was really, um, I mean, it was too much. It was actually really too much. It's not about what they uh, show in this movie, but what they don't show and what you can hear. This is the most disgusting part, I have to tell you. Um, like I said, the ending, I have uh, mixed feelings about the ending. Actually, I could really tell how this was going to end. Um, it was really easy that you can say, well, probably this is going to happen and what I expected did happen. So this was actually um, not really a surprise, but um, I won't give away 
uh, how it ends, but if you have the opportunity, go and see it. But um, be warned, it's a tough one. And I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. It's a really tough one. Um, don't take your girl. Um, wow. <laughs> this was really a hard one to watch. And uh, actually, I was really happy when it was over with because um, you, you were always hoping like, please don't let it be uh, even more disgusting as it has already been enough disgusting throughout. Um, yeah. That is my impression, just um, a minute after the screening. Um, the soundtrack playing right after the end of the movie is really annoying. That is what I can give away. But, um, well, I'm repeating myself. I know I'm really impressed and I still have uh, to collect myself from what I just saw. It was quite an experience. All right, now um, I have to switch the languages um, to the German fans. So, ähm, ich habe es gerade schon auf Englisch gesagt. Ich hoffe, ihr habt den meisten Kram wahrscheinlich eh übersetzen können, für die, die ein bisschen Englisch verstehen. Ich bin jetzt gerade raus aus The Sadness hier in Münster im Cineplex. Ganz krasser Film. Also, ich habe sowas noch nicht gesehen. Ähm, alle, die schon Reviews gemacht haben dazu, die erzählt haben, äh, Herr Clemens, Zocki Reviews hier aus Österreich, ähm, Cinema und aus München. Äh, natürlich der liebe Ephraim aus Bielefeld. Um, ihr habt alle recht gehabt, es ist ein richtig krasser Film. Um, ich fand manchmal die Synchronisation, also ich weiß ja nicht, was da der Originaltext ist, weil es halt taiwanesisch ist, was auch immer, Mandarin, um, weiß nicht, wie sie es übersetzen mussten. Es klang manchmal echt ein bisschen holprig. Uh, dadurch hatte das uh, un unnötigen Witz in diesen ganzen fiesen Szenen von der Sprache, die halt wirklich sexualisiert ist, die Sprache ohne Ende. Uh, krasse Szenen, wie ich eben schon sagte, drei Szenen sind mir in Erinnerung geblieben, die richtig hart waren. Um, vor allem die eine Szene im Krankenhaus oder zwei im Krankenhaus. Uh, heftig, richtig heftig. Also auch, wie ich eben schon sagte, was man nicht sieht, sondern was man hört, ist teilweise noch härter als das, was man gesehen hat im Film. Das Ende hätte anders sein können. Ich habe... Relativ schnell konnte man sich denken, wie es ausgehen wird, aber ähm, das hat den Film nicht schlechter gemacht. Man hätte es sich nur anders gewünscht irgendwie. Man kann auch nicht genau sagen, ehrlich gesagt. Ähm, ich kann jetzt natürlich nicht erzählen, warum man es nicht genau sagen kann, was da am Ende noch passiert. Ähm, wie es genau endet, weil halt der Bildschirm dann äh, direkt in den Abspann übergeht. Aber es war schon, es war krass, es war wirklich krass. Also, äh, wie ich sagte, ich habe äh, einiges gesehen, also Green Inferno fand ich krass, äh, Hostel kennt jeder eigentlich, denke ich, von euch. Der war heftig, aber der setzt noch einen drauf. Also Respekt an Rob Jabas für diesen Film, also wow. Und äh, was ich auch loben muss, waren auf jeden Fall die Effekte, also ganz wenig CGI. Also quasi hat man kaum was davon gemerkt, das sah alles sehr handgemacht aus und ähm, gut handgemacht, nicht, nicht irgendwie billig oder so. Ähm, Krasser Film, ich kann es nur noch mal sagen, krasser Film, wer die Möglichkeit hat, geht rein. Ähm, ich muss mich erstmal sammeln und mache mich jetzt auf den Heimweg. So, das war äh, mein Review of the Sadness aus dem Cineplex Münster. Äh, Cineplex Münster. Ich wünsche euch ein schönes Wochenende. Haut rein, Jungs. Ciao.